Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of the rear view camera Highline Retrofit in Golf Mark 7. I've uh, successfully done this in this vehicle and right now I've reviewed, reviewed all the coding that's required to perform in this vehicle. I've undone all the changes. I have all the changes over here and I will guide you through it. Um, just heads up, I'm going to use OBD11, but you can use VCDS or whatever, as long as it's capable, capable of changing coding and adaptation values in your vehicle. So the procedure will be the same, just the user interface on your device is different. So if you are using VCDS, just follow those steps accordingly. Okay, next important thing, I've uh, retrofitted over here a uh, second-hand unused camera. So it came uh, parameterized and if you have a brand new camera that's not parameterized uh, from the factory or from the seller, you will have to do this with VCP, I believe. Uh, this is not something that you can do with uh, VCDS or OBD11, so uh, I'm sorry, you need to find someone that can do this for you. Okay, so over here, let me just guide you through it before we will start, because this can look a little bit overwhelming, but first thing that we are going to do is add the camera to the gateway installation list, just to make sure that the camera is uh, seen by the car as a separate additional module. Next, those three things are for the uh, infotainment unit. We want to make sure that the low camera is not coded. It will not be most likely. Uh, although you might upgrade from low to high, so we will check it. And we want to uh, turn on the communication with the new camera and select the communication data bus. Over here in the Parktronic unit, we want to also let it know that the camera is installed so the Parktronic and camera can talk to each other. And this piece of code is for the camera itself. We want to make sure that it's set for the vehicle. So we need to select the region, the brand of the vehicle, the class, generation, body type and so on. This is for the optional equipment, so we want to make sure that the camera knows exactly what's installed in the vehicle, like the trailer control unit, automatic transmission, electronic parking brake, swinging logo, because this type of camera also came in other vehicles, like Audi vehicles, where there's no swinging logo, and so on. Over here, we want to make sure that all four uh, views are enabled. Over here, we can uh, turn on an additional feature, which will turn on the lights under the side mirrors those small welcome lights that are over here. This feature is meant for vehicles with the 360 view uh, feature, just to make sure that the side cameras uh, can see something in the night, but still you can enable it over here. And this will hide the small, small overlay with the uh, reverse gear uh, engaged, the overlay with the parking sensors over here, which will be by default hidden. This does not work in my vehicle, the last uh, thing. I'm not sure why, maybe this is for another type of unit, but I will investigate it later on. Okay, so right now let's get OBD11 and let's code it in. Okay, so let's go to the list of modules. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm going too fast for you, but all this will be in the description below this video, so you can check it out and review it in your own pace. So, first of all, let's go to the module 19, which is the gateway. We can already see that there's a fault and most likely this is caused by the camera already installed in the vehicle but not coded in the gateway so we can check yeah additional installation detected so the camera is sending some messages but the gateway is not expecting them since it does not know that the camera should be installed in this vehicle so we are going to adaptation we are going to installation list specified specified installation and we are uh, using the search bar to look for camera camera system rear view coded slide to right done first step is done now let's go back to faults and i believe this fault is now with the green indicator this means that it's in the history but it's not present at the moment so we can clear it and it will go away now let's go to the uh i'm sorry let's go to the module 5f to the infotainment system so let's scroll all the way down infotainment system and over here we are going to long coding first byte 19 so let's go here it is byte 19 bit number four it's disabled this is how it should be this means that the low camera is not installed which is good 
Uh, I'm sorry. And now in module 5F, still in 5F, let's go to adaptation and we are looking for channel called, let's type in BAP. And the full name is car function list, BAP generation 2. And over here we are looking for VPS, uh, virtual parking system or something like that. And we want to change those two things. Active and comfort data bus. So we want the communication to be on and we want the communication to be performed on the comfort data bus. Code it in. Done. Right now the infotainment system can uh, talk with the camera. Now parking uh, sensors. It's module number 10 in new vehicles and 70, 76 in old. I have an old car so let's go to 76 and we are going to long coding and over here we are looking for a byte number two or we can use the text um, function over here. If you are using this, you go to number two and the bit four and five are the interesting one. You, you need to enable four and make sure that the bit five is disabled. So let's do it from here. This is the same, but with uh, those nice labels, camera type, rever uh, review camera, not environment camera, which is, I believe the 360 system, not camera uh, system Japan version, but the rear view camera, slide to right. Okay, now the Parktronic system knows that there's camera and it can communicate with it. So right now, let's go back, let's go back. I'm going to disconnect from the vehicle and connect the vehicle again. I'm doing this because um, we added the camera to the gateway. So there's a new module in the vehicle and to make sure that it will be displayed on the module list over here, I want to connect again to the vehicle right now. OBD11 is communicating with the gateway. Gateway is sending the current list of installed modules. And to, uh, right now, we can be sure that the new module, the camera, will be listed over here. So let's go scroll down to 6C. We have 6C over here. We review camera and it, ha uh, it has one fault, I believe. Yeah, one fault. So let's check it. The fault is data bus missing message. So since the camera is from an used vehicle, I believe it's coded for equipment that it's not that is not in this vehicle. So um, since I've done this already, I know what it is. But let me let me pretend like I don't know. Let's go to long coding, and over here we need to review this. So first of all, we have the brand set to Volkswagen, the vehicle class to three, generation to seven, variant to two, and uh, derivative supplement to zero. Most likely this is Volkswagen, Golf, Mark 7, uh, Estate, Combi, uh, pre-facelift. Okay, region is for, region is for Europe, uh, equipment, AHK. This is tow bar. It's set, it's set to installed and I know that this vehicle is not equipped with tow bar. So let's set it to not installed. And right now let's go back faults and we have no faults anymore because the camera knows that this vehicle is not equipped with a tow bar and it's not trying to communicate with it okay so i believe that what you should do is to go through the long coding from up to the bottom and make sure that everything over here is uh, coded uh, right to your vehicle and over here we have the um, uh, we review modes and we want to make sure that the review mode 1, 2, 3 and 5 are enabled. So those are the standard view, the um, uh, parallel parking view, the towing view and the fish eye cross traffic view. Okay, so right now I believe I can disconnect from the vehicle and I can check if the camera actually works. So first of all, let me engage reverse gear it works so right now let's put it in park let's do the same with the parking sensor button over here it also works great and let's check if we can change modes yeah 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 okay so basically that's it for today uh, thank you for watching. Uh, give me thumbs up if you like this tutorial and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.